Right. It, 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 it's absolutely crazy. And now, and here's one of the things too. A lot of people who m- maybe they're reporting their FBARs correctly. Maybe they're maybe they're reporting their offshore accounts. Maybe they know like, oh yeah, I know my interest bearing. I have to report. I know worldwide income. I've been reporting my income correctly. I've been doing everything correctly. And then when it comes down to the, what about your retirement plan? What about that? And that could be a non-compliance. And speaking of. One of the things that uh, Sean said in the article is why you may need to use one of the offshore voluntary disclosure programs when it comes to foreign retirement plans. So when would it fall under, or is that another depends? Oh, it, it's always a, it, it always depends. <laughs> but I mean, this like like we've been talking about. This, this is a complicated issue. It's very easy for this to be a reason for you to be non-compliant and. You know, often we could be talking about a lot of money, especially if you're in the stage where you're already taking distributions from these plans, because most people assume that they don't have to worry about U.S. taxation on their foreign retirement plan. Mm -hmm. They think foreign countries taxing it. I have it over there. I lived over there. I worked over there. Hmm. There's no way the U.S. should even be worried about this. We have to we have to really pull this information from people like pulling teeth. They they don't they just assume it's ingrained in them that this is a non-issue and it's a big issue. I mean, we're talking about a $10,000 fine for failure to file each of these forms, 3520 and 3520A, or even higher. I think it goes up to 25 or 35%. <laughs> yeah, I think the if they ask the for it and you, don't, and you don't provide it, then it can kind of go up, 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 sort of uh, incredible. Right, and you, you're exceeding, you know, a lot of times these penalties, when you have both of them, and the statute, and now it's a statute... If you don't file it, the statute on assessments is open, open forever. Open forever. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's just it, in, you know, you have to think of it. This is it's like I wouldn't say peeling back a, a rotten onion. I don't think that's the right that right uh, the al- n- analogy. I think it's you're going into a building that you think is this big and hmm. every room is getting exponentially worse. Everything is getting far worse because you're learning, oh, it's taxable. Oh, not only is it taxable, the compliance work is crazy. The penalties are crazy. Um, This is, you are not in the position you thought you were in. I mean, that's one of the greatest ways to upset anyone is change their expectations. Your expectations, this, like, oh, I have this amount of money. Like, yeah, let's Mm -hmm. just cut that in half. Right. Uh, that that is just the the horrible surprise and a lot of people that's why like i I don't know what i'm going to do i'm just going to sort of pretend it doesn't exist and that's you know one of the options people are doing irs medic the law offices of parent parent and win llp real tax attorneys for tough tax problems